Divya. Hi Ruchira, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great and it's great to see that people are here and they want to embrace love and they're here uh, for Shabnam's session because uh, let's be honest, she's fantastic. She and is. <laughs> before I can say anything, I think everybody's already experiencing the magic of infinity healing and magic of Shabnam. So uh, thank you for having me here, first of all. Uh, and uh, it's a great space to share such an intimate experience with everyone because I feel that all of us are here because we understand the value mm -hmm. of love and finding a partner and finding that connection where which might be different for each one of us and un definitely unique for each one of us. But we do want that. So uh, thank you for having me here. And so let me let me just start talking about my journey of uh, finding a partner of getting infinity healing done with Shabnam and in, in whatever detail that I can. So for as long as I can remember, I had been looking for that special connection and you can call it the soulmate, you can call it companion, whatever word connects with you the most. But that connection was important because I'm an intuitive person and it's somehow easy for me to gauge, you know, whether that connection is there or not there. And then I felt that maybe that's the only thing that's important. You know, I'll find somebody, I'll understand if that connection is there and then, you know, uh, that will be my partner. What I didn't realize was that I wasn't ready, as ready as I thought myself to be. You know, uh, it, it was a whole process to understand that I had to become open to a relationship. So, uh, you know, a lot happens in everybody's past. You know, we see bad relationships around us in one way or the other. We hear so many things and it becomes a very strong source of distrust and we want to cage ourselves from any hurt or, uh, you know, anything that makes us vulnerable. And being vulnerable is like the most important aspect of a romantic relationship. So when I did admit to myself that I wasn't ready, that was the first step I took towards finding my partner. And I feel that all of us here have sort of understood that something needs to be done. You know, something needs to change within us that we, you know, uh, for us to be able to find that special someone. So the moment I realized that I needed to improve, I needed to get better, I called up Shabnam. Now, uh, I had already gotten infinity, infinity healing done from Shabnam uh, for my professional life. And I was privy to the magic of this uh, healing and I was privy to the magic of uh, Shabnam as a healer you know she's the kind of healer and I can vouch for it she's the kind of healer who is kind and who's very compassionate and when you're with her she treats you with utmost care and importance as if it's almost personal for her uh, for you to you know for whatever you're there for it's almost personal for her that you get what you want I mean you don't she becomes concerned for you in a way that's inexplicable and uh, that's what made me made, made it very easy for me to you know connect with her to open up to her and i think because of the various reactions i'm hearing on uh, the zoom chat that people are you know relating to that kind of an experience with shabnam now uh, so i sat down with her i had one session so infinity healing Mine was a slightly more elaborate session, a one-on-one -on -one session. And I got each and every block removed, no matter how much time it took. But I got tired and Shabnam didn't. So she was persistent. Each and every block with patience, we just removed so that no stone is left unturned. She was just there with me, sometimes more present than me in the session. And uh, so that session happened in, on January 5th of last year. I remember it very clearly because that was a very important moment for me because that was the time I realized that I might be getting something that I always wanted. It, and years, I'm not talking about days or months or whatever, years of longing I'm talking about. So um, exactly 50 days later, I met someone on the 25th of February and uh, there was an instant connect. Now, uh, when I say instant connect, it means that we were able to talk, we were able to connect, I was able to understand we shared the same value system and uh, we respected each other in different ways. And it was the connection 
that was unique and perfect for me so uh, that was there what i didn't anticipate was that it was just the beginning so um that's not all of it that's not the that that's not all the beauty that's possible things started to grow from there and every day became even more beautiful and uh, even more i felt even more safe and secure as we progressed with our relationship and emotionally secure because when i talked about vulnerability here i'm talking about emotional security and safety with this person and i could feel it so that was miraculous for me and when you generally talk to people these days it's like who are you going to find the time of covid it's you're locked up in a house who are you going to find that becomes the most obvious block and so uh, but i did find this person and i met this person in march uh, we started uh, chatting on the 25th of february i met him in march and about 20 days later second wave lockdown that happened we survived that we survived that quite beautifully i'm proud of that and then uh, then obviously there were some uh, you know we had in right in the beginning there were some we had to uh, go on with a long term long distance relationship because uh, he was traveling so that happened then uske baad things started opening up so we started meeting more regularly and then the third wave hit but despite all these obstacles that people call uh, as you know you won't be able to find relationship among amidst these times it wasn't an obstacle really because of infinity healing it was the right person it was the right time and things just kept growing organically it's not even a year since we met and about a week back we got engaged and uh, in may we are planning our wedding now so uh, so uh, that that is my story and you know uh, the thing is that i am really excited for each one of you here because i feel that you are going to experience something as beautiful as i am currently experiencing i'm so happy for each one of you because with infinity healing you're going to find someone with lightning fast speed with 50 days it was for me because that was the complexity of my blocks 50 days was for me uh yours will depend uh based on i mean uh how much you harbor within you but the speed is going to be lightning fast i've experienced that in my professional life and my personal life because for both these uh, zones i got infinity healing done and with you are in the right hands because you are with shabnam you know you are there with her and i'm just confident that matlab ab to i think you should just prepare uh, in every possible way to be with your partner or to have a successful relationship there is no reason to even think twice about it i can vouch for that and i wish you all all the best all the love in the world and uh, do take care and do remember me when you find someone <laughs> i'm sure we will thank you so much devyata i think you told your story so beautifully and it, it shows through your face it shows through your words um how happy you are and then what a happy place you are uh thank you so much for sharing that That thank you for having me here. Uh, it's my honor to be honest it's my honor thank you for having me here thank you and it's so nice you put it like that that you know you're in safe hands you're in such good hands like shabnam's um and just be prepared to like you know just get get set now already <laughs> uh, that's so wonderful to hear thank you so much thank you so much thank you for having me <laughs>